welcome back to my channel it's good to have you back if you're a new subscriber welcome to the family and if you're an old subscriber hey and if you haven't subscribed we'll give you three seconds to do that okay Welcome to the family. So basically what I'm going to do is show you how I achieved this look today. And uh, if you notice, this is like one of the very few times you're going to catch me wearing a lip gloss because I'm not a lip gloss girl. Yeah, yes. But yeah, if you like this look and you want to see how I achieved it, of course continue to watch. Bye. Okay guys, so to start, I'm going to spray my face with the Body Shop Vitamin C Energizing Face Mist. And I'm just going to... i wait for it to dry. Up next is the Becca Face Primer. I'm going to use that all over my face. Up next is the Demo Color Fixing Powder. It's a waterproof powder and I'm going to apply that all over my face. Essentially what this does is to help to control the oil and it also helps to make your, your makeup stay longer. So up next I'm going to do my brows now. I'm basically just using a spoolie like a mascara one and an angled brush. I've had this brush for ages. It was from House of Tara and I don't even know the particular one. It was just a small angled brush and um, it gives me exactly what I want. So yeah, it's old and busted but it still does get the job done. So, and then I'm also using um, BM Pro Brow Gel in Faded and Bleached. I recently added Faded, no, I recently added Bleached to my routine. It kind of makes my eyebrows look a little bit lighter, which I love. So yeah, I will do that now. Okay, so I'm done with my brows and then up next I'm going to do my eyeshadow. So I'm starting off using the Magic Palette by Juvia and I'm going in with this color in Kessie. I'm going to use this on my brow bone and then after that I'll use this one as my transition color. This one is called Nana. So let's go. And then I'm going to use the Sigma E25 brush to blend it. I like to do my eyeshadow side by side. It just kind of helps me like get it over and done with it. For my transition color, I'll use the Sedona Lace EB15 blending brush. Then up next, I'll use this color in Zach here just to make my transition color much more intense. And I'm putting this on the crease of my eyes. Up next, I'm going to mix these two colors from Sugar Peel Palette. This is 2AM and Poison Plum. So I'm going to also use that on the crease of my eyes. And then I'm going to go in with this color from the Murphy N35 palette. I'm going in with the dark black color. I'm going to use this on my crease as well.
and then I'll use my Kiko 200 brush to blend it all in. So now for my eyelid, I'm going to use the LA Girl Concealer in Fawn. I'm just going to use that to outline my eyelids before I apply any other eyeshadow. And then I'm using the Inglot Eyeliner Gel in 83. I'm using that on my eyelid as well. So up next, I'm using the Juvia Masquerade Palette and I'm going in with this glitter eyeshadow in Makeda. So up next, I'm going back to the Magic Palette and I'm using this shade in Faso. I'm going to use this in my tear duct area. Next, I'm going to line my eyes with the Inglot No. 77 Eyeliner. Up next, I'm going to use my Sasha Buttercup Powder to set my concealer. Up next, I'm going to use my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC45 and I'm using my Real Technique Powder Brush to apply that. Then next, I'm going in with my Juvia Space Sahara Blush Palette and I'm going in with this shade Yara. To top it up, I'll go in with this Fenty Beauty blush in Ginger Binge. So this can very well serve as a highlighter, but because I want to be extra, I'm going in with the Ilamaska highlighter in Epic. So I've gone ahead to apply my eyeliner. I used the same Inglot number 77 eyeliner to do that and I applied my eyelashes as well. Up next, I'm going to do my lips. I'll be using the MAC Lip Pencil in Strip Down. I'll pair it with the MAC Lipstick in Lip Ten City. That's medium rare and the Rimmel London Lipstick in Pink Blush.
Okay guys, so this is the final look. I've gone ahead and I've put on my wig. My wig is by True Tresses. You can check them out on Instagram. So I'm pretty excited with the final outcome because it's been a while since I wore some color on my eyes and I'm trying to find my way back to that point. You know, uh, this video was quite exciting for me to be honest because I didn't quite know where I was going but I knew I wanted to create something beautiful and I like what I did. So um, do you like it? If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment tell me the next book you'd like to see me recreate and um yeah i'll do that for you if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe let's grow this baby okay okay and then looking at this look i was thinking of maybe i should um, add a little bit of lip gloss i am not a lip gloss girl at all but i just feel like this look needs a little bit of you know more shine so uh, maybe i'm going to add a little bit of lip gloss to the final look so I'm just going to use a clear lip gloss and um, I'll put it in the center of my lips. Uh, if I make much of a difference though. It didn't make any difference. I really can't tell. Okay, yeah, I can see a little bit of shine. So anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for staying with me throughout this video. If you like this video, like I said, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, let's grow this baby. Okay, okay. Till next time, don't forget to love yourself, be good to yourself, and love others. Bye.